Hey, Eaglers, what are you doing looking at Pavarotti? <laughs> yeah, it's an Italian restaurant called Pavarotti. Anyway, what I want to talk to you about today is Ricky from Income School, because uh, he's a bit of a topic of conversation at the moment on Twitter, or should I say X? I still call it Twitter. What do you call it? It's always going to be Twitter to me. But yeah, he's... Um, He's a bit of a hot topic at the moment, mainly because Jamie, Jamie If, has, uh, has kind of been calling him out over some of his recent videos uh, and uh, a live stream that he did recently, but, but more so his, his recent video, which was uh, this video. I'll just put a quick screenshot. Up. Blogging should not be used as a scheme to get rich quick, but I still find it incredibly helpful for building an audience and generating a great income. Just don't be lazy in your approach to blogging and don't expect to become a millionaire overnight. Um, which is about the Google update and, um, and basically what to do. So Ricky, to cut a long story short, is basically saying that in order to succeed nowadays, you need to basically work harder. You need to be more patient. You know, two years is probably not enough um, to start getting any success. You're gonna have to wait far longer than that. You're gonna have to work much harder than that. And you're gonna have to do, you know, some social media and stuff like that. And then maybe you might get some success. And Jamie is basically calling him out and saying that that's, that's not simply, that's simply not correct. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of put my thoughts on this. Now, basically I, f I feel for Ricky. I do feel for Ricky. I think Ricky has found himself in a situation that um, is difficult. Um, what I mean by that is, I mean, if, do you know the history of income school? Maybe let, let me start from the beginning. I'm just going to put that there. Um, so income school, they were leaders in, um, in what we do in education around uh, niche websites in blogging and making money online. And they were very successful. They, uh, they shared public case studies. And I know a lot of people that joined the project 24 program and learned a lot and found a lot of success. So, you know, I've always respected Ricky and Income School. And I think that, you know, what they had was very valuable, very useful, very inspiring, and it changed a lot of people's lives. However, as we know, things change. And in fact, a lot changed in Income School because Income School was originally Jim and Ricky, and they were like a, a double act. They worked well together. Jim then left. And I know that Ricky paid, paid for the business and bought Jim out, whatever. And I think he paid quite a lot of money for the business because it was a very successful business. Had lots of students in their course and, you know, it was, it was doing pretty well. Um, Jim then went on to, you know, do his, his gun thing, which I've talked about in other videos. And Ricky was left with income school. Uh, and, and there we go. Now, of course, Everything has changed and everything has changed drastically very recently. The way that Google is now um, working and the way that it's kind of basically not giving any, uh, any traffic to any site that's not um, a super big uh, site like Forbes or New York Times, the way that it's basically just yeah, not showing any small sites has, has changed everything. And I think Ricky has found himself in a situation where He's, uh, he's got these methods and ideas that have worked for a long time that just don't work anymore. And his whole business and his whole course and his whole you know, process of, of making money online is no longer relevant. But of course, he's in a situation where he's got this course. He, he's, he feels stuck. He feels, he feels kind of probably conflicted between what's actually going on and what Google say you should do. Because of course, Google do say that if you create good content and if you answer people's question and if you don't spam and if you, you do all the right things, then you'll be rewarded with traffic, which unfortunately is just not the case anymore. So yeah, Ricky's found himself in a situation where, yeah, he just doesn't probably know what to do. And he, he, he you know, recently he tried to build a, a project in, in, um, in public and, and that didn't work. And, Basically what I'm trying to say is I really feel for him. I really feel for Ricky. I think, yeah, he's found himself in a difficult situation. If I was Ricky, what? Well, I don't know what I'd do. I'm not Ricky, but what he should do 
I think what he really should do is just say, look, a lot of stuff has changed. No one really knows what's working right now, but what was working is not working anymore. I'm going to um, suspend signups to Project 24. I'm going to pause the subscriptions until we figure out what's going on. Unfortunately, he's not doing that. And, and Jamie is calling him out on that. And Jamie is, uh, Jamie is a, is a good friend of mine. I will say that. I've, uh, I've spent lots of time with Jamie at different events and stuff. And I really like Jamie. I think he's a little bit off the mark, though, when he says that Ricky is being um, malicious. Um, and I can't, I don't want to, I don't know exactly the words he used. Let me see if I can just clip it for you. No, well, my money is legit. Your money is from courses. My money is from actual practical, technical application of these things. And I've never lied about an income report and I've never uh, willfully led misinformation of any kind. And so I challenge you. I think that you are not teaching tactics that work and I, uh, and I can forgive ignorance. Um, I can't forgive willful, malicious, um, malintent with giving people bad information so yeah i don't think that's the case i don't think there's any kind of mal intent um from ricky i just think ricky has found himself in a situation where maybe he's losing money maybe you know he's worried that his whole business is going to collapse and he, he doesn't quite know what to do i don't think it's it's particularly malicious not not intentionally anyway so yeah that's where we're at and a lot of the comments in ricky's videos well especially below that video um are quite negative jamie did leave a comment on his video which has been deleted um which i can share that with you now as well um yeah i don't think ricky's a grifter <laughs> in fact i think the way that jamie put that was a little bit a bit savage to be fair a little bit uh, of a personal attack which maybe is a little bit out of order. But hey, hey, I understand where Jamie's coming from and I understand that he, he doesn't want people to spend $500 or whatever income school's cost is on a course that, that is no longer relevant. And yeah, I, I truly understand that. And yeah, my advice would be don't buy any courses right now about blogging or, or niche websites or anything like that. But I'm gonna t I need to take my course down off WP Eagle because yeah, it's not relevant anymore. It's just not relevant. No one really knows what's working right now. Um, it's, it's uncharted times, uncharted times, uncharted waters, new times. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. It's quite early and I've just had a very strong coffee. So yeah, what do you think about all this? What do you think about it all? Um, you know, in a nutshell, let me just sum up this video. I think, yeah, I feel sorry for Ricky. I hope he figures, figures it out. Um, I think he needs to stop maybe giving out advice at the moment because no one really knows what's working and. What he's saying is, is probably not correct. Um, I get Jamie's points. So I just think he maybe is putting them across in a, in a slightly um, aggressive, harsh kind of way. Um, but, you know, that, that's just his way, I guess. The interesting thing is, is that I just, I've just seen on Twitter just a few minutes ago, that, is that Jamie has, has challenged Ricky to a podcast. Now, that would be interesting. I know, well, I'm pretty sure that Ricky is not going to accept the challenge. I just know that Ricky doesn't really like to engage in that kind of stuff. Um, but I've said that I'm happy to host it. I'd, I'll be happy to host it on WP Eagle as a kind of um, neutral ground, or maybe they can have it on someone else's channel, but I'd happy to kind of mediate that discussion. Um, and I think it would be a really interesting, valuable discussion, actually. So, yeah, Ricky, you should you should do it. You should do it. Um, I think you'd be able to hold your own. Um, I know that Jamie would definitely be able to hold his own. And... Um, yeah, that'd be interesting. Well, I've been rambling this morning. Yeah, let me know in the comments. What do you think about all this? Go and check out uh, Twitter, X. Go and have a look at Jamie's feed and uh, go and have a look at Ricky's feed. Um, and have a look at Ricky's videos as well. Ricky has deleted the comment from Jamie. Did I already say that? Yeah. But then it was a, a bit of a personal attack. So yeah, interesting times. Um, I hope you're all well. Let me know whatever you like in the comments. I do love to hear from you guys. Got some more videos coming up um, for WP Eagle over the next few days. I've been working pretty hard on recording some stuff for you guys. It's kind of WordPress related. Um, I've got another AI video as well, actually, which is, is pretty cool. But yeah, what a beautiful morning. Let's have a look at that sun. Ah. That makes it all okay. 
All right, I'll see you in the next one. Boop.